Now it's time for Quarantine Tonight. Live from an undisclosed location north of the Platte River, here's your host, Mike Flood. Hey, good evening. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Quarantine Tonight, seen statewide across Nebraska, from Shadron to Fall City and everywhere in between. We've got a treat for you tonight. We've been talking about this for the last week. We have, I'm not kidding you, uh, about 20 students from Columbus High School. It's the first time on this program uh, that we've had high school students, and uh, they're here because of uh, Jacob Ritter. He is their vocal music uh, teacher, coach at Columbus High School. You might also recognize the name. He and his family, his dad, his sisters, uh, they perform together in the a cappella uh, group Voice House that uh, has performed two times already on this show, uh, does such a great job. We were very confident in inviting these students here, uh, just given how hard and how great uh, Voice House works and sounds. And so tonight you're going to get something uh, that we haven't had for a while, another a cappella effort. I do see a guitar, I see a piano, and somebody was holding a trumpet when I walked in. Uh, but it's also the first time I've seen a luxury liner, a bus, motor coach, parked outside of this undisclosed location. So on behalf of all of our viewers, we want to thank Columbus Public Schools. We want to thank these students who have taken the time out of their night to perform for you. You're going to hear a Christmas show that I guarantee you will not find on any other channel available to you anywhere in Nebraska. A couple quick notes. Tomorrow night, we're back to Poco with the accordionettes from Wilbur, Saline County, Nebraska. We are excited to have this group. Uh, these four ladies out of Wilbur were great fun when we had them in the middle of the summer, and we can't, we can't wait to see them tomorrow night. I know that you are probably excited for that. And then next week, We've got a piano special with Jordan Miller and Evan Johnson. We have uh, Julie and Mike Couch. You might remember uh, they came on before, Julie and her sister as well. Uh, they remind me of the Judds, <laughs> the Judds with a guy, uh, which is kind of fun. And then uh, on December 23rd, we have another show we'll tell you more about later tonight. Let's start things out as we do each and every night here on this program, brought to you by the University of Nebraska Medical Center. We'll start it with a prayer. Hello, and thanks for inviting me to be part of your program this evening. My name is Jay Daniel, and I pastor a church here in Norfolk called Renewed Hope Christian Community. Our church may not look like other churches in that we meet in small groups in homes throughout the week. We do not do regular weekend services, but we do gather monthly as a larger congregation, if you will. Uh, we center around the three major principles that we love God, we love others, and we offer hope. Uh, if you'd like to check us out, you can find us at renewedhopecc.org or check us out on Facebook at Renewed Hope Christian Community. As we start here this evening, let's begin with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, you are an incredible God. <laughs> you have been called the fountain of all joy. And here this evening, Lord, as we, as we listen to music, as we enjoy the talents and the gifts that you've given um, the musicians here this evening, Lord, help us be mindful of all that you're doing in our lives, including the joy of music that you send to us through this programming. God, we ask that you would be with each of us this evening. Lord, I know that some of us are struggling with isolation. Some of us are struggling to just be home alone and to not uh, have interaction with a lot of other people. Lord, I ask that you would send your peace and your, your, your grace upon all of us that we would know you more and more each day and be closer to you and be closer to one another. Lord, we love you. We love other people. Lord, may this program and may all of us here in our own individual ways offer hope to your people around us. Lord, tonight we ask that you would hear our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All righty, guys, let's kick off the show. Well, thank you very much, Pastor, and welcome back to Quarantine Tonight. This is going to be a very fun night. Uh, you know, when any when anybody says, give me an E, and, every you know, somebody has a little harmonica thing, and they're all singing 
That is a different night for quarantine tonight. We had a country band last night, and I guarantee nobody has an acapella band on TV tonight. Uh, Jacob Ritter, you are the vocal music coach teacher at uh, Columbus High School. You followed, obviously, in your dad's footsteps. He's been on this program with you twice before. Uh, this is a fun uh, opportunity for our viewers to see really the power of high school students uh, singing in unison without an instrument. Like, I can't imagine anything more terrifying for myself. <laughs> well, at Columbus High, we take great pride in the a cappella tradition that, as you mentioned, Fred Ritter um, has been, uh, was the director there for over tw for 26 years and uh, just built a wonderful tradition of a cappella music and jazz repertoire that um, when I took over six years ago, uh, I really wanted to carry forward and carry that mantle. And I'm, I'm very, very proud of what these students have put together. Um, I know you're gonna hear some great music tonight. Now you can't tell, but they're all smiling here under their masks. We just, uh, we just spoke and uh, found out you have a lot of seniors in your group tonight. They're going all over Nebraska to different schools. And then you have a handful of juniors who will be back next year. What inspires a student to get into the a cappella group? And you've already won some awards as I understand. Uh, yeah, well, I guess what brings uh, the students to the program is basically the value that we provide. We work really, really hard uh, to provide really quality, um, competitive groups that, as you mentioned, go really across the country. It was only two years ago that we were in Nashville, Tennessee, oh, wow. um, competing in the Barbershop Harmony Society's Midwinter Convention. Um, and we've been to uh, Carnegie Hall in New York. You have? Um, yes. Yeah, so we, we've had the chance to, to go and sing at some amazing venues, sing on national stages. And we just, we, I care deeply about providing these students with an opportunity to perform music at really the highest level we can achieve. Well, you go to the Carnegie Library, you go to Nashville, and then you end up at this undisclosed location. Your parents it's pretty darn good. To, that's, a, that's a nice resume. To be proud. All right. Pretty good. Uh, that's Jacob Ritter. He is the vocal music uh, instructor at Columbus High School. You're going to be kind of helping, hosting, and talking uh, during this program tonight. So if you hear a voice that's off stage, that'd be this guy. He's going to be uh, kind of commanding the effort. And I think Alexis Haynes is here. Uh, Alexis, you are a senior. Yes. Uh, welcome to the program. Thank you. And uh, tell us a little bit about tonight. The songs, uh, the song you're about to do, what have you prepared for us? Yes, yeah, so we prepared a lot of Christmas carols tonight, and then we have a couple songs that we sang this fall that are another a cappella set that we have prepared. Oh my goodness. And look at those earrings. You've got, uh, <laughs> what are those things? Oh, uh, they're just like little tassels my oh. splash of red <laughs> you're gonna be graduating next uh, semester yes I am okay and where are you headed to I am hoping to go to um, UNK okay yep Columbus to, uh, to Kearney that's yes. my wife's from Columbus and she went to UNK so it's a well-traveled road she says wear sunglasses on Sunday night when you're <laughs> driving there it's lots of sun in your eyes all right so the first song you're gonna do what is it we're gonna be doing here we come a caroling and joy to the world ladies and gentlemen the Columbus High School acapella group they call themselves the new world singers on News Channel Nebraska <laughs>
folks. Uh, my name is Matthew Brandenburg, and we're going to be singing, singing a short medley for you today. It's going to be uh, Jingle Bells and Goats Out on the Mountain. My name is Mason Dalkey, and thanks for watching tonight. Our next two songs we're going to sing are Angels We Have Heard on High and Bring a Torch, Jeanette Isabella.
My name is Aiden Prasoski. Thank you all for listening to us, and thank you for giving us the opportunity to come out here and do this. We will finish off this first set with a couple songs. It came upon a midnight clear, followed by the classic Silent Night. I'm 
If you ever wondered about the future of America, listen to this tonight. We are so fortunate to have all of these singers from Columbus High School. These are the New World Singers, all a cappella, beautiful. And I don't know if you know how many hearts you warm. There are people all over the state for all the right reasons that cannot leave their house. And to have you all sing like this has to be just a moment of perfection for them. So uh, we don't get to see enough of you right now during the pandemic because of all the rules and restrictions. And here you are tonight. So I'd like to go along and find out. I know it could take a second. Let's get everybody's name here so that everybody watch, watching in Columbus knows who's behind that mask. I don't know about you, but it can be somewhat difficult. Your TJ Ritter is here, or Mr. Ritter to everybody here. Uh, let's do some introductions because you've got a big crew here tonight. And I heard a pretty Polish name over there, by the way, so I figured you'd stick around for the polka tomorrow night. <laughs> right? Yeah, he there says he go. just might. Yeah. Well, why don't we start with Anessa? We'll go down the road with the ladies, and then we'll circle back around with the guys. So say, go ahead and say your name and your grade in school. Sure. My name is Anessa Arps, and I am a junior. My name is Paula Batista, and I am a senior. Hello, my name is Abby Dane, and I am a junior. Hi, I'm Regan DeBauer, and I am a senior. My name is Mackenzie Cole, and I am also a senior. Hello, I'm Alexis Haynes, and I am also a senior. Hi, my name is Natalie Jaretsky, and I'm a senior. Hi, my name is Addison Rosno, and I am a junior. My name is Josh Kittrell, and I'm a senior. My name is Aiden Prasoski, and I am also a senior. My name is Sam Penn, and I'm a senior. Uh, my name is Jesus Diaz, and I am a junior in high school. Hi, I'm Alex Brandenburg, and I am a senior. Uh, my name is Gage Schmidt, and I'm a senior. My name is Matthew Brandenburg, and I am a senior. My name is Declan McPhillips, and I am a senior. Hi, I'm Mason Dalkey, and I'm also a senior. You know what's uh, about, uh, you know, you see, uh, well, my son's in the choir. You know, they don't raise their voices very much. They kind of lay back there. And these guys here in this back corner, I see they're, I can tell they're really pushing out the music here. And it's just great to hear all the voices. Yeah, it's been amazing to see how the confidence has changed and grown just over the time I've had at CHS. Um, this group of students is particularly special. They've come, they've got, come from their freshman year, and for all these seniors, and of course the juniors too. Um, but uh, it's been uh, many years of dedicated work, all the way from that freshman year up through here, that has really produced uh, such a wonderful group. Well, we have another hour and a half of entertainment tonight. We're going to do some talking because uh, we want to find out a little bit more about these uh, juniors and seniors from Columbus High School. They call themselves the New World Singers, obviously uh, part of the Discoverers which is your high school mascot. And uh, what is next in the spring semester? After this Christmas effort, do you get to compete in any kind of uh, competition, or is that all been sidelined with the pandemic? Well, most of the competitive scene is hosted by collegiate groups, okay. and the colleges have been greatly impacted by COVID-19. We are hoping uh, to be a part of some of them. Midland hosts a wonderful acapella festival uh, that we enjoy. We actually host the Nebraska Acapella Championships in oh. April, uh, and... Um, uh, the Nebraska Choral Directors Association hosts some events, which I know have been canceled this year. So typically we have a whole host of events, but COVID-19 has had a big impact on our ability to compete. Um, we actually, uh, both New World and the Concert Choir, participated in the Impact Vocal Festival oh, wow. through a college in Kansas City. So we're actually uh, looking to expand our opportunities on a national level this year just to see what we can find and be a part of. Well, I guess if it were up to these folks, they'd certainly not be wearing their mask. But to sing with a mask and to do all of this is just perfect. Just it's love definitely that. worth it. Yep, it's, we, worth it's it. definitely worth it. So I tell you what we're going to do real quick, and I know you got to hang on for a second. We're going to check Mike's mailbag. I know you guys don't write snail mail letters, but they do exist. People actually have stamps. <laughs> they, your parents use them for bills. On this program, and let's go to the mailbox and find out what we have in Mike's mailbag. We get them from all over the state, including your hometown of Columbus. Let's see what we have on tap Thanks, tonight. Alex, and hi, everybody. Oh, hang uh, on we're a going second, Jeff. Hold on there. Here we go. This is from Donna uh, in Lincoln. She writes, Dear Mike, uh, I'm still enjoying the music, and I hope you are able to keep it going. Well, Donna, we're going to do everything in our power. Uh, that's Donna Riddenbaugh. All right, here we go. Here's one from George and uh, Henrietta in Norfolk. I want to thank you and Father. 
mm-hmm. about every day. We also enjoy polkas and waltzes on your show. Well, thank you so much. Uh, Father Joe is actually from their hometown of Columbus behind me. And then we have one from Bill in Columbus. It says, I start my day with your station. I head off to work after watching Father Joe. I enjoy your evening sports coverage. Uh, the evening entertainment is special. Well, thank you, Bill, from Columbus. We have a whole stack of people from Platt County right behind me. If you'd like to send us a letter, we'd like to have it. You can send it to 214 North 7th Street. That address will be uh, appearing on your screens, uh, and you can let us know what you like. I don't know if we can get these uh, singers in every night. They've got school the next day. It's uh, quite an operation to get here. And I see somebody likes Jimmy John's because you had about – 50 of those sandwiches uh, ready to go. Who's the Jimmy Jens lover in the group here tonight? Somebody? Everybody? All right, that's good. All right, I'll tell you what. We're going to take a quick break. We'll check that uh, news update. And, of course, uh, Jeff Fox has a look at our AccuWeather forecast across the state of Nebraska. In a couple minutes, we'll be back with more of the New World Singers on NCN. All right, we're, I believe it's a Tuesday night, and we're this close to Christmas with absolutely wonderful Christmas music. Right here on News Channel Nebraska, we have the New World Singers from Columbus High School. This is their vocal music teacher, Jacob Ritter, and uh, this is his sixth year at Columbus. Now, did, where were you before that? Is this started? Not where I kind of hopped all over the place. I worked here in Nebraska. Um, I actually moved to Florida, worked for Disney for Mother of Florida? You know what? I do. I do. I do what? Nebraska. Different states. And I came back to Nebraska. Of it. So, but uh, got to work in Minnesota. Going up there. And then when dad had retired from Minnesota, I get the job. Columbus hit the jack. Got the effort here. Yeah. And I think we have, coming up here, every night, We one of the requirements we have of the performer is a patriotic song. And you're, this is uh, uh, Reagan DeBasta, Reagan Sr., yes. and uh, you're going to do the mother of all patriotic songs. Do you do a lot of those uh, in, in this group? Um, it oh, I bet you do. Yes. I, who here sings it just as a single singer at a... I can't imagine anything more stressful than singing the Star Spangled Banner in front of a crowd of a thousand people. But uh, here you are singing it in front of our entire audience. Uh, what's your plan after Columbus High School this next year? Um, I hope to go to Bryan College in Lincoln, and I want to be a nurse and then a nurse practitioner. Wow. We need more nurses, especially. How does this whole pandemic make you think about nursing? Because obviously they're on the front lines putting their lives in at risk for others. Yeah. Um, it's something I'm willing to do, and I've decided that um, if something like this happens again, I pray it doesn't, but I'm willing to help out if that's the case. Well, I hope we're not in the business of wearing masks like this for a long time. But yes. if we are, you end up in the hospital, you might end up uh, in Reagan's care. So we yes. appreciate you being here tonight. And uh, on behalf of everybody watching, thank you for doing a patriotic song. Our flag is right over there, and uh, we appreciate you very much. Thank you. That's yes. Reagan DeBauer. You're watching News Channel Nebraska. Oh, say can you by the dawn's What's a world at the twilight's last leap? And bright stars.
Next up, we have the song Since You've Been Gone, originally performed by The Real Group. This song features soloists myself and my friend Regan DeBauer. Enjoy. You know one thing live television is and so uh, we are going to take a short break give our technical guys the chance you have been fantastic by the way this is on us so we're going to take a break back you're watching You know what I think is great here on Quarantine Tonight? Most of the time, uh, especially when we have students, we think, oh, think about the experience they're getting. Well, think about the experience they're getting tonight watching us run around trying to handle a glitch in our audio, but we do not want to miss this performance. So if you've been watching tonight and you're enjoying Quarantine Tonight, we have uh, 
restrung a couple cords and we are not going to take any commercial breaks. We're going to get you as much of this as possible. And if you are watching on Facebook, you'll be reattached to that here in just moments. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you. This is the New World Singers. This group is out of Columbus, Nebraska. They're juniors and seniors under the direction of Jacob, Jacob Ritter, who is a vocal music teacher. And uh, I think you guys got an experience uh, front hand in adults uh, trying to solve problems while you're singing, and you are sounding so good tonight. Uh, let's pull somebody here I haven't had the chance to talk to. Let's talk to one of these guys. You got to come up here. Yes, you, you, you. Uh, now tell everybody what your name is. My name is Matthew Brandenburg. Matthew Brandenburg. Oh, imagine that name in Columbus. Uh, so uh, what year are you? I'm a senior. You're a senior. You guys sound awfully good tonight. Yeah. What's your favorite song that we're doing tonight of all the songs oh, that you're doing? Mary Had a Baby, obviously. Mary Had a Baby yes, is your sir. favorite. Okay. And the guys over here, do you speak for all of them or do they have different favorites? What do we say, guys? What do we say? Yeah. I like it. <laughs> 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 super expressive. Super absolutely, expressive. absolutely. All right, well, let's get going. Who was going to start here just moments ago? Uh, come on out here again and tell everybody who you are here tonight. Uh, my name is Josh Kitzrow. All right, and I so rudely interrupted you before when we were having some technical difficulties. So uh, tell us, where were you going when you were up here before? Uh, well, the next song we have prepared for you tonight is Up on the Roof by the Nylons. Okay, and what year in school are you? I'm a senior. And what's your plan next year? Uh... I'm either going to take some classes at CCC or UNO or something for, uh, yeah. for music production. I didn't know where I was going to college until August 15th of uh, following my senior year, so you can tell what kind of summer I had. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the New World Singers from Columbus High School right here on News Channel Nebraska. When this old world starts getting you down And people are just too much for me to face I climb way up to the top of the stairs And all my cares just drift right into
My name is Alex Brandenburg. Thank you for being here again with us tonight. Um, our next song is going to be Lucky Luke with soloist uh, me, Alex Brandenburg, and my twin brother, Matthew Brandenburg. step in here really quick because there's a couple things I wanted to mention just really quickly. First off, there are two members of this ensemble that were not able to join us tonight due to um, being quarantined for COVID. And they are two very special members of the group, Haley O'Shell and Sarah Pacheco. We miss you dearly, ladies, and we wish you were here with us tonight, but I just wanted to make sure that we acknowledge them tonight because they rehearsed just as hard as any member who's here tonight, and we dearly wish they were here. Um, but uh, ladies, we, uh, we hope that you're watching us at home and we, uh, we're thinking about you tonight. Second thing is, we're gonna jump right into one song from our later set uh, with all the group before we go into our other groups. And Natalie, you introduced that song. Do you remember what it is? Mary Had a Baby. So go ahead and kick us off, give us an intro for that, and we're gonna sing Mary Had a Baby, okay? I guess I just introduced it, so <laughs> do it again, I guess. Hi, everybody. My name is Natalie Jaretsky, and every year New World has this special song, a part of our holiday set. And this year, it is Mary Had a Baby, arranged by Philip Kern. <laughs> <laughs> 
Enjoy. Train done, gone, but the people come. Train done, gone, but they keep a coming. Train. Train. This is Quarantine Tonight here on News Channel Nebraska. And uh, we've got a full crew of uh, people here called the New World Singers. They come from Columbus, Nebraska. They go to Columbus Public Schools. And uh, they're juniors and seniors. Now, who has a solo coming up or uh, one of the next few acts here? All right. So you are in big trouble. You're going to end up talking to me over here. Uh, who here wants a solo tonight that doesn't have one? We can start handing them out. We've got some extra time. <laughs> Mr. Ritter says, hey, wait a second, wait a second. Uh, I can't tell you how much we appreciate you making the trip to this undisclosed location. There are so many people at home that just love hearing this Christmas music, and uh, they're staying put until they get the vaccine, and uh, they're, uh, they've been there for a while. You know, uh, My folks, actually, they've been holed up since March 8th. And uh, when you think about that, that is a long time to be in your house. Certainly you all have gone to school, you've been out and about, but for so many people watching, uh, being home and staying safe, especially with advanced age, uh, this is a very special night for them to be able to hear all of you. So how should we do this, Mr. Ritter? We are going to, uh, who's up next here, I should ask? Well, we're going to move on to some select soloists. So those of you who are not doing that may go and find a seat over here. So thank you, New World. You can World. certainly Appreciate tell that. he's a teacher, can't you? It's the hand motions. Yep, got to gotta tell him what's going on. So we're going to start with Regan DeBauer. She's going to be singing a solo that uh, I actually had never heard this song before, but it is very, very beautiful. Why did you uh, tell us the name of the song, Regan, and tell me why you picked it again. Um, it's called My Grown-Up Christmas List. And I picked it because the chorus is very fitting 
to the current situation. You know, this year there's been a lot of trials, and I thought it fit really well, and it's just kind of inspirational. Well, I'm excited to hear it, and uh, now tell me, who's all watching tonight that you know, uh, family members, who would be watching you, uh, Reagan, perform? Um, my parents and all my siblings and my nieces and nephews, my grandparents, and who knows who else? How Probably. How many siblings do you have? Um, I have an older brother. He's 31. And where's he? He's in Columbus. Oh, my goodness. And he's married and has three kids. They all better be watching if they can stay up that late, right? Yes, yes. And then my sister is 29, and she has two kids, and she actually lives in Stanton, okay. Nebraska. Yep, and her husband is a police officer there. Okay. And then my older brother, but the youngest of them, his name is Cabe, and he is 22, and he is going to college still. And you are the baby of the family? Yes. So they're watching their little sister on television tonight. Yes. And Grandma and Grandpa, what town are they in? Columbus. Oh, my goodness. So a lot of Platte County here. We are excited to have you. And your folks' names, we better find that out while you're here. Pam and Ross DeBauer. Now, they better be watching you tonight, right? Yeah. My dad had to choose between this and Oak Island. He oh, really loves that show. He cannot and go to Oak Island. He I know. He needs to stay on News Channel Nebraska. He better be here. He better be here. I bet he is. You need to go into TV newscasting. Keep him on the right channel, right? <laughs> yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have Reagan right here. Reagan uh, DeBauer. She is yes. on News Channel Nebraska.
Reagan, I bet you have uh, two brothers and a sister and a mom and a dad who just love that song tonight. Yes. And everybody else. Uh, great job. Thank you. How much practice does it take to be able to do something like that? Um, well, funny story. I was actually going to sing a different song that I had sang at church two years ago on Christmas Eve. And then I was just, you know, jamming out to my YouTube playlist. And this came up about a week ago, a week and a half ago. And so I fell in love and I learned it really quick. So. Wow. Yeah. I wish I could change up songs like that. <laughs> you don't, uh, you mean you don't listen to the radio to get all your songs? You get them off YouTube now? It depends. I was practicing my other song, which had a track <laughs> on YouTube. And then this one came right after. Oh, well, you did a wonderful job. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Uh, it's Regan DeBauer, and uh, she is from Columbus, Nebraska. She's a senior this year at Columbus High School, one of the discoverers. So yes. all the best to you. We're going to uh, now welcome up Jesus is going to yes. come up here next. So Jesus, come on over here. And uh, Jesus is a, what year are you at uh, Columbus High School? Uh, I'm a junior. You're a junior. Listen yeah. to that deep voice. You're ready to go here. And uh, what's the name of your song? Uh, my song is Dame de Beber, which is like a Spanish song I sing in my church. Uh, basically, it's about somebody who's spiritually thirsty for God, and uh, whoever that person is, is asking or begging to be drinking from his springs. So this is a Christian song uh, in Espanol, and yes. uh, what's the name of your church? Uh, the name of my church is Alian. Aliento de Vida, which is uh, the breath of life in English. Is that in Columbus then? Yes, it's in Columbus. Oh, my goodness. So we are, this is good. So we had a band from Omaha on uh, May 5th, and they were fantastic, Rosando Robles. And uh, he had uh, a whole performance that he did in Espanol, and our viewers loved it. So uh, we thank you for doing this Christian song in Spanish, and uh, we're excited to have you. Now, who's watching for you? Who's the who's in the family here that could well, be? Well, my mom, my dad, uh, my little sister. Hopefully, they're at home cheering me on. And how hopefully. old is your little sister? Uh, she is 10 years old. And she's up at 9 o'clock, hopefully? Yeah, she should, be in, she should be in bed by now. But... She should be watching her older brother, <laughs> and she's 10 years old. So what is she, in fifth grade, maybe? Uh, fourth she's grade? In sixth grade, I believe. Whoa! Fifth, no, no, fifth grade. Fifth, fifth grade. grade. You got to know grade. this, yeah. Jesus. All right. I remember it. It's okay. And your mom and dad, what are their names? Uh, my mom's name is Melissa Cajuana, and my dad is Gilberto Diaz. All right. And they're watching tonight as well? Hopefully they are. All right. They aren't watching Oak Island or another chan uh, another TV station, hopefully. Uh, uh, no, I don't think so. We'll hopefully. lock them in here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jesus, how do you say your last name? Diaz. Diaz, right here on News Channel Nebraska. We're going to get him behind the piano over there. Adorar. 
Dame de beber de tu manantial. Dame de beber. En ese sí. Jesus, you did a great job there. Oh, thank you. Singing and playing and doing it all right there. You bring your own music. You bring your own instruments. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, how long did it take you to practice that song there? Uh, I mean, to be honest, I've been playing for oh, a, a little closer. Time. I've been playing for a long uh, time in my life. Yeah, almost <laughs> five years. Or and who taught over. you how to play the piano? Well, it was originally this uh, guy in another church. His name was uh, Jonathan Garcia. I don't know if you know him or not, but um, he's the one who originally taught me how to play. You know, I learned the basics from him. And then after maybe a year or two years, I stopped with him. And then I just uh, went, I guess, with my church, I guess. Yeah. Started playing and singing. and. Well, first I started playing because, like, I really wasn't as confident as I am right now with singing. Uh, so, yeah. Well, you have, a, you have a great voice and you Thank do you. a great job, so... Maybe you need to get into broadcasting with that deep voice, huh? We've got to put you on the radio and the TV and put you in front of the cameras here. So you did a great job, Jesus. And uh, thank you. to all your family, thank you so much for watching. He'll be back here in just a little bit. So we'll let him take his piano with him here real quick. And we've got a barbershop quartet coming up here. And uh, for the barbershop quartet, I'm going to have you guys stand over here so we get some good light on you. Uh, I might have to adjust the lights. You, you saw me standing on the on the uh, the chair a moment ago. So let's get some introductions here, gentlemen. Uh, we've already talked to you, but do a, a, a round of introductions here. All right. Well, I'm Mason Dalkey, and okay. I'm a senior. You're a senior. All right. What's in your future? Um, I'm deciding between Midland or UNK right now. Okay. Fremont or Kearney? You're trying to figure that out, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. I like your tie, by the way, over here. Very holiday. Who's this over here? Um, I'm Alex Brandenburg. I'm also a senior this year. Okay. So how many Brandenburgs do we have on this uh, on this uh, team here? Um, just uh, two. Just two? Um, and, and you're twins, right? Did I yeah, that? twins. Okay. Where's your twin? Somewhere over there. Okay. There you go. Who's older, you or him? Me, by two minutes on the Oh, top. okay. Uh, are, you're not, are you not identicals, are you? I'm trying. He says he should have been born first. Did you hear that? Yeah, all in technicalities. All in technicalities. Well, and you're both seniors, is that right? Yep. So what next for you? Um, my plan ultimately is 
Doan University in music education. Now, what about his plan? Um, well, <laughs> he's still trying to figure that out right now. Some things <laughs> happen, you know. Well, it would be the first time you've been split up, right? Uh, yeah, pretty much. We've been together since everything. We've yeah. moved from Florida to here. You did? Everything, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's great. I love the tie. Now, who do we have next here with the red bow tie? Uh, I'm Gage Schmidt, and I'm also a senior. All right, Gage, what are you thinking as you wind through your senior year here? Um, I'm thinking probably physical therapy, and I don't know, between Wayne State and Concordia. I'm hoping to possibly play football at Concordia. So. Oh, football player for the Discoverers? Yep. You guys had a good season this year. Yeah, yeah, we did. We were I was at good. the first game you had versus Scott's Bluff, and although that didn't turn out perfectly, you guys played a great game and i thought columbus high school is for real this year uh so you guys had a pretty good season were you pleased with it oh yeah definitely i mean you know six and four is a pretty great record and you know we had the first playoff win in like about 10 years so so you actually you've been on tv as a football player and now as a choir you you take the cake for all student athletes this year you're in all different areas of the ncn world right yeah, I guess you could say so, you know. All right. They weren't always pretty, you know, on the football field, but, you know. Try hey, to make up for that with but choir, look at this you know? tonight. You got your bow tie on. You got your hair done up. Now, who's next to you over here? I'm Declan McPhillips. I like that name. I'm a senior. Are you Irish with a name like Declan? Uh, yes. Irish How? and German. Irish and German. All right. And you're a senior. And uh, Declan, who's watching you tonight? Uh, my parents, my siblings, I think. And How many my, siblings? Uh, I have a brother and a sister. Older or younger? Both are older than me. How much? Uh, my sister is about four or five years older than me, and then my brother is, oh, about you know, eight years. <laughs> wow, okay, very good. So you're the baby, too. Yes. All right, very good. So you guys are kind of a barbershop quartet, and what are we going to be doing here tonight? So... We actually have a group name. Oh, do you? We thought pretty hard on this. We're called the Ringtones. Oh, nice. And, uh, so we're going to be singing a song called Little St. Nick, and it's originally reigned by John Nicholas. Okay. Well, before you start here, this is going to be very unprofessional. I'm going to get somebody over here to get on a, a, a chair, and we're going to get some of these lights turned on because i got to make sure I can see you. got to get one of the tall guys from our crew over here to, uh, to light you up. We don't want to miss any of the ringtones here. Do you provide those services? Do you do you do ringtones, or where does that name come from? Who came up with that? Uh, I didn't. We, I we had a performance yeah? uh, for a suicide prevention walk over in Columbus, Nebraska, yeah. and our director said, you guys need a name. You can't just be the quartet. And so here so you are. we spent about an hour in the group chat working on it, and we came up with the ringtones. Well, you're so dressed. You're all dressed so nice. And uh, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the ringtones, part of the New World Singers on News Channel Nebraska. Merry Christmas, Saint Christmas comes this time each year. Way up north where the air gets cold, there's a tale about Christmas that you've all been told. And a real famous cattle dressed up in red, and he spends the whole year working out on his sled. The little Saint Nick, little Saint Nick, just a little bob sled. We call it old Saint Nick, but she'll walk a toboggan with a four speed stick. She's candy apple bun with a ski for a wheel, and when Santa hits the gas, man, just watch her peel. It's the little Saint Nick, little Saint Nick, it's the little Saint Nick, little Saint Nick. A run, run, rain. And hauling through the snow at a frightening speed With a half a dozen deer with a Rudy to lead He's gotta wear his goggles cause the snow really flies And he's cruising every pad with a little surprise It's the little Saint Nick, little Saint Nick Yeah, it's the little Saint Nick, little Saint Nick Merry Christmas, Saint Nick Christmas comes this time each year Merry Christmas, Saint Nick. Christmas comes this time each year. 
run, run, reindeer. Run, run, reindeer. Run, run, reindeer. Run, run, reindeer. Reindeer. Run. Wow, ladies and gentlemen. You're not going to have any trouble meeting people in college if you can sing like that, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, very nice job there. Uh, Christmas music all night tonight. You've got a few more songs to do. Anything else? Uh, so, you've got three siblings. Who else has a lot? I know your brother's here. Any other kids in your family besides him? Uh, yeah, I have my older brother. He's okay. about to turn 20 this year. I oh, my so. goodness. Okay. I'm going to be real bad if... I just said the wrong age on live TV. Trust but, me, it happens to me all the time. And then I got my parents definitely watching at home. My mom's probably already posted on Facebook about it. Well, that's good. I got Br And you can't throw a rock in here and not hit a Brandenburg. We got a lot of them in this room. What about you? Uh, I have two younger twin siblings, a okay. uh, boy, girl. And all right. And they're both 14. 14. All right. So they're watching their older brother mm -hmm. on television tonight. All right. And you? And I'm the youngest of five, so... I've got two older twin stepsisters. What is up with all the twins up here, <laughs> by the way? Do you got two older twin? Yeah, two older twin stepsisters. And then I have an older brother who's older than me by about three years. Yeah. And then I have an older stepbrother, and he's older than me by about, I think, six years. So you're the baby in the family, too. Yeah, yeah. Your parents are going to be so relieved yeah, when all you guys get through here. We're really excited about the three grad parties at once because they're the same age as me. Oh, I bet they're. So, you know. <laughs> Well, you guys did a great job. Thank you very much. Uh, the Ringtones, ladies and gentlemen, from Columbus, Nebraska. We appreciate you being on the show. And uh, who's coming up next? Uh, we've got the trumpet player and the guitar player. This is your brother coming up, by the way. Yeah, it is. It is. It's another Brandenburg. Well, we'll have you uh, replace. Uh, sorry, we got to make room for the next round here. Skadoodle, skadoodle. Thank you, gentlemen. You did great. Uh, another Brandenburg. Uh, what's up with the music in this family? Your twin brother, you? I mean, who taught you to do all this uh, singing and dancing? I, I couldn't even tell you. You couldn't even tell me. All right. I, mean, I didn't start singing until my sophomore year, whereas he's been singing since sixth grade. But oh. I've, been, I've been playing the trumpet since sixth grade. Well, there's so. music in your family. Now, is there a guitar player coming with you, or is, are you the whole show? I'm the show for this one. Your next act is going to be a singer-guitar oh. player. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, another Brandenburg. You're watching News Channel Nebraska. Let's, uh, what are we doing here? Are we doing a classic? Yes, sir. We're going to be playing Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow. You're watching Quarantine Tonight.
wow, look at that. Very good job, very good job. Did a great job there. Imagine being a senior in high school and uh, playing uh, a trumpet and having it be broadcast all over the Cornhusker State. You did a great job there. So uh, we've got a guitar player coming up now. This is your friend Aiden and uh, Prasoska. Did I say that right? Prasoski. Prasoski. Well, uh, what are you, Polish, Czech? I mean, I am Polish and Italian, so I was born to eat. You need to be on TV more often, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you need to be on TV more often. We need that around here. So are you a uh, polka fan at all? You know, I don't touch much of it when I'm with my grandparents. It's on all the time, 24-7. It's, it's who, an interesting... Now, where, who are your grandparents and where do they live? Um, Myron and Marla Prasowski are my Polish grandparents, and they live in Osceola, Nebraska. Okay. And Mike and Lynn Baxter... Uh, are my other grandparents. They live in Ainsworth, Nebraska. Mike Baxter is actually famous for being the 1995 world champion auctioneer. Oh, nice. So, But they're not the Polish grandparents. They are not even the Italian grandparents, actually. Oh, really? Um, the Italian comes from my other, my third grandma, uh, Gala. And I don't know where. She's moving around a lot. She's trying to find work, and it's a tough time to yeah. find work especially as an older person right now so i pray for her every night yeah well that i'm sure she appreciates that now your parents your grandparents in osceola they've got polka on all the time yeah are they like when are you going to get into this aiden when is it gonna when are you gonna we have polka bands on this channel all the time do they watch ncn i i believe they do uh if they ever switch off the games because my my grandpa has to follow football well i get that i get that so what are you going to do tonight? Now, are you are you playing a guitar? Or just... I am, in fact, playing oh, yeah. a guitar. It's right over here. Um, Aiden, will... uh, you're packed with personality. Am I right here, uh, classmates? <laughs> Everybody is waving their hand. You could be a TV host, Aiden. Here, I'll hold that for you. Thank you. We'll let you uh, get your guitar on. Aiden, are you a junior or a senior? I am a senior this year. Okay. Do you, uh, do you want me to? You're a senior? All right. And what song? are you doing tonight? So I have brought for you um, Sister Golden Hair by the band America. Any questions? Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Aiden, say your last name just so I get it right here. Uh, it is Prasoski. Don't feel bad. Jacob Ritter, our teacher, hasn't gotten it right in three years. So... Oh, I bet you're a joy in class. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, here's Aiden, and we're watching, you're watching News Channel Nebraska. All right, I guess before I start singing, I should say a thank you, because there's a crazy girl out there who I believe is watching this who spent the entire summer listening to me play my songs and sing. So if you are watching, thank you very much. Thank you. Sister Golden Hair. Well, I tried to make it Sunday, but I got so dang depressed that I set my sights on Monday and I got myself undressed. I ain't ready for the altar, but I will admit there's times when that woman sure can be a friend of mine. Well, I keep on thinking about you, sister, golden hair surprise. And I just can't live without you. Can't you see it in my eyes? I've been one poor correspondent. I've been too, too hard to find. But it doesn't mean you ain't been on my mind. Will you meet me in the middle? Will you meet me in the air? Will you love me just a little? Just enough to show you care? Well, I tried to fake it. I don't mind saying that I just can't make it. Well, I keep on thinking about you, sister, golden hair surprise. And I just can't live without you. 
Can't you see it in my eyes? I've been one poor correspondent. I've been too, too hard to find. But it doesn't mean you ain't been on my mind. Will you meet me in the middle? Will you meet me in the air? Will you love me just a little? Just enough to show you can. Well, I tried to fake it. I don't mind saying that I just can't make it. Thank wow, you Aiden did a great job there. Did a great job. So I have to ask, who is this girl that we're singing about uh, here tonight? Where is she? Well, she is actually in Kentucky. What? Yeah. So it was a, uh, it was a real interesting thing. You meet a lot of people doing voice chats and stuff, and I was trying to find people to play for and sing over the summer. Some of these people got to experience that in Zoom calls because that was a whole thing. Right. But, yeah, I... Uh, I got to talk to someone and she was interested in hearing me sing so I did it for a couple months and she didn't get tired of it so I hope she's still enjoying. Wow ladies and gentlemen that is a story so met her on the internet is that fair to say? Yeah. That's the new world ladies and gentlemen and uh, Aiden I loved it you had a great voice there do you want to do this professionally do you want to get into this business? You know, growing up, I really, really was passionate about it. I'm surrounded by extremely talented musicians. I actually learned some of my guitar from Corey Delp, who you've had oh, on the yeah, show before. Oh, yeah, 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 he's great. Corey is amazingly talented, and whenever I get to work with him, I'm happy about it. But I've realized that sometimes chasing this dream uh, leaves you pretty lonely, and it leaves you with uh, empty pockets. So <laughs> You're I'm, wise beyond your years. I'm you pushing are wise. for uh, <laughs> mechanical engineering, so hopefully that's a little bit better. <laughs> you are going to do very well in life, Aiden. We, uh, we wish you the best, and uh, you can still do this as a mechanical engineer. You'll have more personality than most of the engineers that I know uh, as a, somebody who went to college with a bunch of them. So uh, you did a great job. All right, so we're going to let you get off safely here, and we've got uh, the whole crew coming back. And uh, we've, we want to thank, again, all of the students from Columbus High School in Columbus, Nebraska. They call themselves the New World Singers. They've all got a lot of personality and talent, as you can see, and we hope that you've enjoyed tonight. It's a different quarantine tonight that we've had in a long time. A reminder that tomorrow night the accordionettes are here with some polka. And uh, we will, uh, of course, have more music on Thursday and then some sports on Friday. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching News Channel Nebraska. Hello, thank you for coming and watching us tonight. My name is Declan McPhillips. I am a senior. And our next song to perform for you today is Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy, as performed by Pentatonix.
Hello, my name is Abby Dane. We want to thank you again for tuning in tonight. The next two songs we have for you are O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, and What Child Is This? Wonderful, wonderful singing gang. Thank you so much. Again, just as uh, Jacob Ritter from Columbus High School and the New World Singers, I really want to take a moment to thank um, the NCN crew, the Quarantine Tonight crew. They really have done an amazing job, and I'm so thankful to have the opportunity to bring Columbus High School to this program and share what we do uh, with everyone here in the state of Nebraska. It's truly our joy to be able to do this. Um, Mike Flood, uh, Chad Barnhill, and the whole team here have really done an amazing job, and I just want to thank them publicly for the effort that they have made to bring us here tonight. So thanks again to all of their staff.
And I will turn it over to Kenzie to introduce our final number of the evening. Hello, we have one more song for you guys. I'm Mackenzie Coy. Sorry, I forgot to say that. Um, we will be singing for you, Christmas Benediction. This is a song that New World does every year at the end of our sets, and this is kind of our Christmas, Christmas wish, wish to you guys. Thank you. just enjoying the Columbus High School New World Singers. They come from uh, Platte County, all of them here, juniors and seniors. We've talked to a lot of them, but there's a few that have escaped us over here. So we have to make our way over to the, uh, the far right side of your television and introduce ourselves. Now, who are you? Hi, I'm Addison Rosno. Okay, from uh, Columbus. Yep, from Columbus. I'm a junior. Oh, That's my goodness. Just. So yep. you've got one more year of this. Yep, <laughs> yep one more year. Did you Hopefully. start this as a freshman? Well, no, this group is select juniors and seniors, and so I auditioned um, in the spring, and I'm here for that is, uh, junior year. That's an honor to be chosen for mm -hmm. this, isn't it? Yep, there yep. Are, Everybody tries out, and then yep. they get here. So, mm -hmm. And who's watching you tonight? Um, my parents, Lindsay and Brandon Rosno, and then my little brother, Duncan, hopefully. I mean, he might be playing video games. How old is he? He is 13. I have or, the same problem. Yes. Actually, yeah. the one camera operator over here, uh -huh. that's my son. And uh, if he wasn't here, he'd be playing video games. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, with the door closed downstairs, not <laughs> yep, talking to anybody. Much. You know exactly yep. how that works. Yep. All right. All right. Next up here, of course, we talked earlier tonight. Uh, tell us uh, who you are again and who's watching you tonight. Yep. So I'm Natalie Jaretsky, and I believe my mom is watching me, and hopefully my brother don't know. How him. old is he? He's 16. Oh, my goodness. He's yeah. got wheels now. So Yeah. He... Better watch out. When you, when you turn 16, <laughs> you, you, you're not at home very much, are you? Uh, he's still kind of at home. But really? Like, yeah. Yeah. I have this. Uh, I have this vision of uh, my son turning 16, and he's not ever going to be back. Oh. He's just going to leave somewhere. Uh, <laughs> like we won't see him for months. So, well, that's good. And yeah. uh, you are. Uh, you actually performed at Carnegie Hall, right? Yes, I did. Yeah. And what year was that? That was 2019, before the pandemic and stuff. What What, what did you sing? Um, there they were a bunch of songs. Just um, I think one of them was. Something with the heart. I can't remember the names of the songs, but... The performing at Carnegie Hall is a big deal. That yes. is a very yes. beautiful venue in the heart of New York City, which, of course, right now, it looks a lot different than it did when you were there. Yeah. So. Well, that'll happen. Aiden, I see you back there. Now, who's this guy over here with the bow tie? You better come up here for a second. Hi. He's got a little bling going on there. Who is this guy here? I am Sam Penn. S Sam Penn, P-E-N-N? -N? Yep. All right, and Sam, what year are you? Uh, I'm a senior. You're a senior, yep. and uh, 
probably the best dressed guy here. He's got the slender suit on there. He's got the bow tie. Uh, how long have you been in this? Were you in here as a uh, junior? This is my first year. Okay. Yeah, in the group. And what's next for you? Uh, I have no idea. You're just kind of <laughs> charting a new course. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Well, uh, thank you very much for uh, stepping up here. Who are we missing? We have uh, J.B. Eberly's uh, granddaughter here, by the way. We know her grandpa, and uh, he's a character, by the way. He's from Stanton. But who are your folks? Uh, my parents are Jennifer and Jeffrey Colway, and I believe they're watching at home. All right. And you're a senior mm -hmm. at Columbus. Yes, and what are you I thinking am. next year? Um, I am going to attend UNL, hopefully... Um, kind of haven't decided on my major yet. Hopefully later on attending PA school. Oh, very good. So, yeah, that's the plan. She likes science. Oh, very yeah. good. Uh, we know Mr. Brandenburg back there. We know those guys in the back row. We know Reagan. Now, we haven't talked to you yet. And uh, who are you? Hi, my name is Abby Dane. Okay, from Columbus. Yep. yep. And who's watching you tonight? Um, I probably have my mom, Nikki, and my dad, Chris. Oh, great. And then... Probably my stepmom, Carla, my stepdad, Matt, and then I have a younger brother named Noah and two younger sisters named Emma and Luca. Oh, my God. How old are the younger sisters? Um, Emma is seven and Luca is four. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and then uh, your brother? Yes, my brother is 14. His name's Noah. So you have a lot. You're the oldest in the family. I have an older stepbrother, too. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. Okay. How old is he? He's 23. My gosh. You, you've got a lot of kids in that family. <laughs> yes. Well, that's good. All right, you knew I was coming for you. All right, who do we have over here? Um, my name is Paula Batista. Paula, and um, who's watching you tonight? Um, maybe my mom um, and my sister, maybe. I don't know. Younger sister, older sister? Younger sister. How old? She is 11. Oh, so she's uh, fifth grade, right? Yes, yes. Is that right? All right. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. We appreciate Paula watching tonight. Uh, mm -hmm. How about you on the end? Uh, my name's Anessa Arps. A-R-P-S? Yes. Oh, great. Okay. Mm -hmm. And who's watching you tonight? Uh, probably my parents, Nick and Melissa Arps, and maybe two younger siblings, Jada and Nolan. How old? Uh, 14 and 13. All right. So you're the oldest in your yes. family? All mm -hmm. right. I think I touched everybody here tonight in terms of uh, talking to everybody. If I missed you, I'm coming for you. I know we talked just briefly because I interrupted you earlier, but... Who's watching you tonight? Uh, I got my mom, Tammy, back home, and then my dad, Walter. And uh, I know my sister's watching me from Texas, Jessica. Oh, what town in Texas? A uh, town close to Houston lump called Lumberton, Lumberton, Texas. you got to tell her to move back to Nebraska. Oh, my dad's trying. We're, Is he? We've been trying, oh, yeah. He's putting the hard sell on her? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, sure. what does she do down there? Um, she does hairstylist. She does hair. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. That's what she went to school for. Well, you heard your little brother. It's time to get her. Now, Mr. Ritter, who would here would like Come to on. see Mr. Ritter sing something? Yeah. Uh, I would. Yeah. I would like to see Mr. Ritter. Mr. Ritter was on this program before and uh, did a great job. Can we con you into saying something tonight? Uh, singing something tonight? Singing something tonight? Yeah. Singing something. Oh, goodness me. What should I sing? Oh, Beach Boys Medley? Oh, Beach Boys Medley? <laughs> A Beach Boys medley. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, well, I don't know. What's a great, what's a good holiday song we didn't sing tonight? Oh, holy night, oh. the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long live. Christ 
class when your teacher can keep up and then some uh, ladies and gentlemen mr. Ritter did a great job there Jacob uh, congratulations to you on such a successful class here and on behalf of all the people that watch this program that have there's so much junk on television when they get to our channel they say they just enjoy it there's nothing bad or political about it it's just good music well so. and, and if there's anything I can say I mean I'm thankful for the opportunity oh, to get to yeah. sing for your audience, but it truly is about these students here. They have worked immensely hard um, preparing for this performance tonight, and they truly took great pride in being here. And I wouldn't take away a thing from every everything that they've done. I'm really proud of the work they've done tonight. And uh, these uh, these students have watched as our crew has expanded and contracted and then contracted again. Uh, we had a technical difficulty that caused a blip in one of the songs, and so we... Uh, completely changed everything and went to a uh, single camera with no commercials. And so to these kids' credit, they have helped us fill the time with uh, great uh, information about it themselves and their music. So uh, I, I want to give a lot of credit to the Columbus Public Schools. I want to give the credit to the New World Singers uh, and their vocal music teacher who uh, has been there for six years and has built a wonderful program. Some of these kids have performed at Carnegie Hall. They've been in Nashville. They enjoy the competition of a cappella singing, and it is way harder than you could imagine, in my opinion, not having the benefit of an instrument when you're trying to hit a pitch and do all that stuff. So thank you. And to the, all the Christmas music, wonderful as well. I see your bus is out there. Your bus driver's got it warmed up, so you're not going to be cold when you get on there. Uh, <laughs> Somebody says amen. Uh, and uh, we, uh, of course, tomorrow night have the accordionettes. And then next week, another round of live music here on News Channel Nebraska. Uh, Mr. Ritter, um, on behalf of all of our viewers, thank you so much. What's next for the New World Singers beyond uh, this performance on Quarantine Tonight? Well, I'm really... I uh, obviously, the holiday season is something we really look forward to at CHS, and we just completed our concerts uh, this past Sunday for a COVID meager crowd. We had to limit the amount of people in the audience. Uh, but next coming up in January and February for this group and for the concert choir is our Night of Acapella in February, where we'll feature uh, some of our uh, most high-intensity um, secular acapella tunes, and it's something we look forward to every year. This year is going to be no different. Well, we're so happy you're here. I get uh, letters from all over the state, and I know they're going to love this. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live at an undisclosed location enjoying every bit of the New World Singers. It is 10 o'clock. Good night.